Hi, I'm Anton Grutter from the Lean Institute Africa. In this short video, I want to explain to you how two different PDCA cycles underpins the daily management system for frontline teams. The first part of what we want to talk about is the PDCA cycle that many of you might be familiar with. It's quite simple. It consists of four stages. Firstly, planning what you're going to do, then actually doing it, checking whether it worked, and then acting to correct if necessary. We got the PDCA cycle from Edwards Deming, and we know it works because it's based on the scientific method whereby our ideas of how to do and improve our work are tested in the real world. The next part is the daily management system for frontline teams. The DMS also works at other levels in the organization, but here we are focusing on the DMS practices for frontline teams. The practices that commonly make up a DMS start with standard operating procedures or SOPs so that we can use the correct work procedures that are currently the best known practice for doing the work. 5S Workplace Organization refers to getting our workplace organized so that we can maintain an environment conducive for doing the work right first time without delays. We then need to measure our team's performance and make it visible in graphs with trends over time so that the people doing the work can see how the team is performing. Daily teamwork involves the people who normally work together reviewing their performance at their daily team meetings to assess whether they are still performing to target or whether they need to take corrective action. This decision would then trigger the continuous improvement practice using one of the problem solving methods like the A3 and or Tia Takata. What I want to do now is to put the DMS and WPDCA together. Many people are aware that improvement work is based on PDCA, but what might be new to some people is that our normal daily work is also based on a PDCA cycle. So we have two cycles of work that are in principle both based on PDCA, but applied differently depending on whether we are in the normal work or improvement work cycle. Let's start the explanation with normal work. The way in which we complete the PDCA cycle for normal work is to start by using 5S and SOPs. Because 5S is the plan for how we are going to organize our workplace so that we can do the work effectively, and SOPs are the plans according to which we do the actual work. This gets us from P to D. To get from D to C, we need to measure our work performance so that we can complete the check step. Without measuring, we are working. while we are working, we wouldn't have anything to check whether the work is progressing normally and meeting standard or whether corrective action or an improvement project is necessary. The daily team meeting is where we take a moment to assess our performance and decide whether to act to correct if necessary. Then there are two options. Either work is going fine and proceeding as normal in which case we would simply continue with the normal work cycle using the same 5S practices and SOPs as before. However, if something is not going according to targets or standards, then we would start a new improvement cycle also based on PDCA. Here we are talking about continuous process improvement, the fifth practice that makes up a frontline this consists of systematic PDCA-based problem solving by drafting an A3 plan, according to which we are going to do an experiment to see whether we found a new, better way of doing the work. Usually it requires several experiments to confirm whether our countermeasures are meeting the goal that we set ourselves for the improvement project. Then the Toyota Kata can be used to keep track of what we learn during every PDCA cycle as we gradually work towards our goal. Once again, when we check our progress, there are two possible outcomes when we decide what action to take. Either we haven't yet found a better way to do the work according to our measurements, in which case we we'd continue with the improvement cycle by doing more experiments based on what we learned in the previous PDCA cycle. Or we have found a better way. 
once we consistently meet the target that we set ourselves for this improvement project, we would make the new way of working, the new SOP, and it becomes part of the normal work that we do. I hope you have found this explanation of how normal work and improvement work relate to one another in two different PDA cycles helpful. If you need any further information, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can contact me at anton.grutter at gsb.uct.ac.za or go to our website at www lean.org.za if you're interested in doing a DMS workshop. Thank you and goodbye.